Ghostly Immortal. A UFC lightweight division bout. attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I all right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come off Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Back to the feet now. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Good punch lands. He is all about that left kick to the body. That lands the right hand. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice elbow. Dig and kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard, keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Let's go. Get him up here. Get him up. Push him up. Push him up. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so he's got his head here, looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless trip. 
transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flute choke here. Full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. And now the elbow. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Elbows landing now. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go, All right, let's get to round two. Nice punch in that over the top. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Well, he's been pretty accurate. Oh, my gosh. Perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, nice. get a finish here. Not tapping out tonight. Now it's his mouth. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Like he's trying for a submission now. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Look at him push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. you don't want to be though. Oh wow, that happens quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Two minutes remain in the round. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Setting up a sub here. And oh! He's got the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. win by 
by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar, Assassin. Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys. For